I get accused of two things. Um, one um, is um, the basic magician things. I get accused of uh, using my sleeves and marking cards. It's that basic thing that everyone says. And so I put a t-shirt on and I did this. Um, Emma, that is for you then. Uh, what I don't want you to do is be swayed by any of the cards we've seen so far. Because what I've done is I've marked this deck up. You can just about make it out. It's quite light in here. I put a little mark on the back of each card so you know which one it is. You see it? <laughs> Um, basically, numbers 1 to 52, yeah, all the way through the deck. I know exactly which card, can you see those? Yeah, matches which number. So that's my advantage in a game of cards. It's not great, I was only about six when I did this. Um, but then I figured, what if I could actually get people to like, mess with their brains a little bit? So I'm going to leave these out here. Um, I'll come to you at the end. Okay, you guys first. How long have you known each other? Uh, we <laughs> oh good, that's what I wanted, because there is that coincidence when people meet, because obviously the scale is 1 to 52 here. Yeah. Um, I want you to think of a number in a second, between those numbers. So to make sure it's not the same number, can yours be odd and yours be even, and that'll just eliminate yeah. that, yeah, yeah, that possibility. Um, I'm going to give you a card each to think of, I'm going to try and imagine which number's on the back. Simple as that. Um, but I'll give you a clue each, just because you haven't done this before, just to warm us up. All right, so your card, uh, five of diamonds, for example. Imagine the five of diamonds is in my hand. Your clue is a lowish number. Between 1 and 52, it's a lowish number, but change your mind a couple of times so it's random. Uh, there's your five of diamonds. What's on the back? Three. Yeah? Not drawn towards the five because of five of diamonds? You're happy that was random? Yeah. Good. In your head, just see five of diamonds, three. Keep doing that. Same rules apply. Um, I'll give you a card without a number so I'm not influencing it. Um, a jack of clubs, for example. Okay, but your clue is a high number. Between 1 and 50, it's a highish number. I want you to change your mind a couple of times first. It's not an obvious yeah. one. There's a jack of clubs. What's on the back? Even or odd? Yours is even, yeah. Yeah, uh, 38. You happy with that? Mm. Okay, in your head, just do the 38 jack of clubs. I'm not giving you any clues because your clues were in what I just said. On the back of one of these cards is the number 37. Uh, yeah, as a random number. See 37 like this? Yeah? What card is it? Seven of diamonds. Good. That just came straight in, didn't it? Yeah. Look at this. Seven of diamonds. And that was 37, wasn't it? I didn't change the number. Amazing, I love it. All right, there's your seven of diamonds. I gave you the jack of clubs you said. 38. There we go. And I gave you the uh, five of diamonds you said three, wasn't it? I mean, you had options. You had numbers, yeah, and you had cards you could have chosen. Let's have a look, see how we did. I gave you the five of diamonds, you said three. Yeah, Good yeah, work. I gave you the jack of clubs and you saw 38, right? Yeah. I then gave you uh, 37 randomly and you said seven of diamonds. 37. <laughs> Thank you very much.